With me now is Joanne Bates. Thanks very much for your time. You haven't been on the ground for long yet. You've still got some time ahead of you here at COP27. To date, what impression has been made on you? So it's it's busy and there's a good energy. So what, um, what I'm finding is that the green hydrogen conversation is very strong with all of the, um, the interest in driving the green hydrogen um, commercialization in South Africa. And uh, a lot of people have been seeking me out to engage in that. So I think that's been exciting. Um, being here on the back, particularly of the president's announcement of, on Friday, um, has made South Africans extremely interested in ensuring that they you know, the just energy plan the just transition. energy transition plan that is released on Friday. Um, and I've been leading the uh, the hydrogen and the new energy vehicle piece of that. Um, so it's been I think very engaged, very interesting conversations. What I found most interesting is uh, some of the conversations around sustainable textiles when you think about the regeneration of our textiles industry. So there just is a lot and it's diverse. You said that you are championing green hydrogen. Talk to me a little bit about that as a drive in South Africa. So uh, green hydrogen is a nascent industry and um, in the, the Hydrogen Society Roadmap was a, a, went to cabinet last year and Minister Patel uh, from the Department of Trade and Industry uh, was tasked with heading up the commercialization of green hydrogen because it's, it's not just an energy, it's a key industrial opportunity. Um, he established the green hydrogen panel. Um, I'm the acting chair of the green hydrogen panel. And the, the panel brings together private sector and public sector to identify the roadmap for building the commercial plan for South Africa. It's very much an action plan. Um, what can have, what are the skills we need? What are the localization opportunities? How do we convert our platinum into electrolyzers? What technologies do we need to attract? What are the applications, both internationally and locally? And he pulled together um, a number of corporates, including Toyota, Sassel, um, Arsenal, Mittal, Navitas, um, Anglo American, all key players within Green Hydrogen. And together there was this this energy and realization that this is South Africa's opportunity to lose and that we have to collaborate. So it's been the first time in my working experience that I've seen such openness and transparency in the CEOs and leaders of diverse companies. So it's been very exciting. What are you wanting to walk away from COP27 with for the Industrial Development Corporation? Clear action plan with partners. So what we believe that we need is not more planning and ideas. We need to take action, we need to start delivering in the country. Um, the other key takeaway is finding those right technologies and partners to help with integrated planning and measurement. I believe that there's ample capital available and capital will go with this transparency and implementation. Where it's welcome. Yeah. And if we can implement our country plan in a way that is focused and in a way that is transparent, I think we will have ample capital to enable the just transition in Africa. Joanne, your, your energy is certainly refreshing and I look forward to seeing how the Industrial Development Corporation trailblazes in this space. Thank you very much. I've been chatting to Joanne Bey, Pierre Sheikh, Egypt.